Good morning, boys and girls. Thank you so much for tuning in to today's opening group. I'm super excited that you're here and I'm ready to get started. Here we go. Good morning, preschool friends. How are you? Good morning, preschool friends. How are you? It is time to start our day. We are here to work and play. Good morning, preschool friends. How are you? Yesterday, we had the number 28. Take a second to think of what number comes after 28. If you said 29, you are correct. 29 is made up of a two and a nine. So we are going to start with the number one and count from one to 29. When we get to 29, we are going to stop. Ready? Get your clapping hands and your counting mouths ready. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. Today is April 29, 2020. Take a look at our word April. April begins with what letter? A. Good. What do you notice about the A? Is it uppercase or lowercase? Yes, it's uppercase. What's the last letter in the word April? Say it out loud. April. L. Excelente. How many more virtual learning days do we have? One, two. Good counting. These are the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. These are the week. 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 If yesterday was Tuesday, what day is it today? Think about it. Sunday and there's Monday. Tuesday and there's Wednesday. Very good. Say the word Wednesday. Wednesday. What letter does it begin with? W. And if you take a look, is the W uppercase or lowercase? It's uppercase. Very good job. Can you say it in a sentence? Today is Wednesday. Your turn. Wow, boys and girls, great job. Let's clap it out. Wednesday. How many syllables? Two. Awesome. What's the weather? What's the weather? What's the weather like today? Tell me, students, what's the weather? What's the weather like today? Take a look outside. And when we get to the correct picture, I want you to tell me to stop. Sunny? Yeah, it's another sunny day, so we're going to put a dot here. We're going to count how many sunny dots we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here's the number ten, a one and a zero. <gasps> how many more dots do we need to catch up to Cloudy? One more. I hope we can get there. Which picture has the least? If you said snowy, you're correct. Snowy has zero, and zero is the smallest number. Which one has the most, the tallest amount? Good, cloudy. Sunny's catching up. We'll have to see if we can get there. Let's sing our community helper song that we were singing yesterday. So I'm going to give you some clues and you're going to have to guess what community helper I'm talking about. You guys ready? What is my job? What is my job? Can you guess? Can you guess? I help fix cars. I help fix cars. Who am I? Who am I? Take a second. Who helps fix cars? If you said mechanic, you're right because your brain. Awesome job. Let's try another one. What is my job? What is my job? Can you guess? Can you guess? I help find books. I help find books. Who am I? Who am I? When you go to the library to get books, what's the person who helps you find the books? Who is that? The librarian. Awesome. One more. Ready? 
What is my job? What is my job? Can you guess? Can you guess? I help take your trash. I help take your trash. Who am I? Who am I? Who helps take or collect your trash? Yeah, the garbage people, garbage men or women. Good job, boys and girls. So for today's um, message of the day, we are going to be talking about the person who teaches you. Who is the community helper that teaches you? If you said teacher, you are right. So our message today is we are going to teach the students. Can you say it with me to help me remember it? We are going to teach the students. Good job. So I'm going to draw my person and my prop. And close down, across, slant, slant, ring, 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 around, and, and here's my prop. A, B, C, one, two, three. Person, prop. Now I'm going to write my lines. We are going to teach the students. Ready? We are going to teach the students is one longer line. Students. Who comes at the end? That's a period. Good. Let's get our corner finger and track our lines. We are going to teach the students. We have enough lines, so we're ready to write. Remember, we write to help us remember things. Here we go. We, if you take a look at the first letter, the first letter is W. We notice that it is uppercase. Uppercase, or the first letter, in a sentence is always uppercase. So we are going to teach. Teach. Is it the same sound as van or top? You said top, you are correct. And that letter is T. Teach the students. Same sound as snake or rat. Yes, snake, so it's an S. Students. We are going to teach the students. So let's pretend we are all teachers and we're teaching the students. Ready? A, B, C, one, two, three. A, B, C, one, two, three. One more time. A, B, C, one, two, three. Good job, boys and girls. All right, we're gonna get ready to move our bodies. We are going to do the freeze. We're doing freeze on the number like we have done this week. So when you see the number, you are going to put that many fingers in the air. Here we go. So you can do three on one hand or two and one. Four. So four on one hand, three and one, or two and two. There's a couple ways to make four. an easy one. One finger. Six. Five and one. Three and three. Or four and two. That one has a couple too.
two. Is it two on one hand or one and one? Good job, boys and girls, moving your bodies. It's so important that you move your bodies, stretch them out, and get them ready for the day. Our share the news topic today is, what do you like to learn in school? I want you to find someone in your household. It can be a parent or a sibling, and I want you to tell them what you like to learn in school. When you're speaking, they should be listening, and then you can ask them. You can say, what do you like to learn in school? If it's your parent, you can ask them, what did you like to learn in school when you went to school? And they can respond. So when they are talking, remember that you have to be listening. Boys and girls, thank you so much for tuning in. I really encourage you to watch today's read aloud because I have a really special guest that I am introducing you to and I think you're going to love it. I can't wait to see you guys a little bit later for our activity of the day and for our read aloud. I will see you guys then. Bye-bye. Have a nice day. Enjoy this beautiful weather. See you soon.